Hi, I'm Wes Waite from the Blotter Tongue Technical Solutions Department, and this is a Tech Talk article on how to select the correct amplifier. An RF amplifier is properly selected by two criteria, input level and frequency range, or number of channels you want to amplify. The input level of the amplifier determines what amount of gain you need. If you look at the specifications of almost any amplifier, be it a blonder tongue amplifier or another manufacturer's, the input level is not listed. But the proper input level to an amplifier can be determined by subtracting the gain from the rated high output level. For example, a BIDA 75A-30 amplifier has a rated output of 3644 dBmV and a gain of 30 dB. 44 minus 30 equals 14, so the minimum required input to this amplifier to achieve the rated output is 14 dBmV. A 43 dB gain amp has the same rated output, so 44 dBmV output minus 43 dB gain tells us the minimum input to this amplifier is plus 1 dBmV. The 43 dB gain amplifier is typically the amplifier to be used as the first amplifier from a cable company feed due to the low levels they provide. Subsequent amplifiers in a system are typically 30 dB gain amplifiers as we have control of when we amplify the signal. When we talk about carrier to noise in another installment, we will see why using higher gain amplifiers in a system puts the system outside FCC specifications and does not deliver good quality pictures to the customers. The other parameter in selecting the proper amplifier is the frequency range or the number of channels that you want to amplify. In the BIDA series, the lowest frequency range available is 550 MHz, which covers 77 channels. Remember, when dealing with digital channels, or a mix of digital and analog channels, you may have more than 77 programs because digital channels can have more than one program on them. So 550 MHz handles 77 physical channels, whether they are analog or digital. The next step is 750 MHz, which covers 110 channels. 860 MHz equates to 129 RF channels, and 1000 MHz is 150 RF channels. If you have a channel count that falls between two frequency ranges, pick the higher one to ensure that you are covering the range of channels you have. However, it is not a good idea to step up the amplifier frequency-wise beyond the range of your channels for future expansion purposes. For example, if you have 90 channels, it is more channels than a 550 MHz amplifier covers, so pick the 750 MHz amplifier. But, in the interest of possible future expansion, it is not a good idea to pick an 860 megahertz or 1000 megahertz amplifier. We will discuss this further in another installment when we discuss setting up an amplifier.